What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Head Coach Ross at the Tax Gym, Street Warrior in Gio Uhuru Kipura. Helping me out is Assistant Coach Fatal. This is a response to numerous emails I've gotten regarding you guys asking me about if, uh, if Capoeira or Kipura has stick fighting, real life stick fighting, and also what's this connection to Kali. Well, truth is, uh, Kali and Kipura have quite a few history together because they both come from the same system, Sekhmet, but Kipura is much older than Kali. Kali is part of Kipura, Kipura is not part of Kali. We'll get to that in a different video. All right, but here's the point I wanted to talk about specifically. Kali, in his opening angles, teaches people to strike like this. Well, I should say, a lot of Kali instructors, instructors here do so. Kali is a terrific system. Some of the training systems aren't um, very functional. That's what I'm going to address here. Because if you're facing a person in real life and you're swinging like this, that person's going to be moving, and especially if they have a stick, they'll block. So what you have to do is incorporate that even in the most basic beginning movements that you have, you have to expect that your opponent is alive is going to resist you. So if you you swing one way, he may block or she may block, and you have to go and turn your body the other. You may swing this way and they may block. You have to turn around the block and strike the other. Or you may go this way and he or she may block and jam you with their stick, right? And that is when you have to learn how to be able to move your body, strike and grip the weapon, or the weapon hand, and strike your opponent. Helping me out to, to, to show you what I'm talking about here is this. There's the fallacy that you usually see with a uh, uh, general Kali practitioner. They'll just swing. And if you just swing, he'll block. And that sucks. You didn't practice to deal with that, okay? And, or you may backhand, he'll block. You didn't practice to deal with that because remember, most of the time they just teach you just to do this. What we recommend is that you take take live opponents into, into your mind, get your proper stance and fanning or what have you, shooting your angle, you don't do this, where you can get hit with the knuckles, we tend to grip down at the bottom, so you have the maximum length of the stick for you, all right? And when you decide to strike, you strike here, you block, that's cool because you already practice rolling around it and striking, okay? If they block the backhand, you, that's cool because you already practice rolling around it and striking. Now, what if he jams, all right? That's when you have to use your rear hand to check and remove it. So if you strike here and he jams you, you take this hand, trap his hand, or grab the stick, I used to go for the hand, all right, and roll around and strike him here, okay? Same thing with the backhand, he stops here, check, you go here. Now, oftentimes in real life, this rear hand will come up, but we'll deal with that in the next video. I just want you to know you need to start practicing and with the idea that your opponent is going to respond and counter in all of your basic maneuvers and then you'll be able to build much more functional, much more realistic, much more confidence and dowling skills, all right? Okay, now, helping me out is my cousin, assistant coach Fatal. It's your boy, head coach Ross with the tax gym, street boy in Gio Uhuru Kipura. Take care of yourself. Amani, asante sana, ashe.